In this video I want to show you how to program a macro in our macro window which is directly corresponding to our macro group window where you can deactivate and activate macro groups directly by mouse or by another macro. Macros can also switch on and off macro groups. I show you this later. To create a new group you just have to click on macro then groups then you put in your new name you want to name your macro group and save the group and then it will come up down here. You have the possibility to create macros with different groups and um, you can either choose the group always active which means um, every time your macro engine is started this macro will work but you also could define another macro group which is um, down here. So if you press dimmer active this macro will work and if it's not activated like it's now this macro will not work. To make it easier I'm going to show you this in the always active macro mode. So you give in a new name for this macro so you can um, easier identify what kind of macro this is and you can save this macro. It's very important to know that there are two kinds of macros. One kind is triggered by another macro, I'm going to show you later on. And the second kind is triggered by a line directly in the macro. I'm going to show you right now. So if you choose the wait to event, then you can define what this macro should wait to until it's playing down the lines you define here. So I do a right click into this area and then you can define a trigger. You have the possibility to choose on Adam's first and second ME every kind of source you got, for example bath, or the cameras, the media player, the super source. You can use this as a trigger input and um, at the end you got the possibility to choose three different modes of camera one in ME1 for example. So there's a possibility to choose PGM full. That means if you bring camera 1 directly to the program of ME1 this is the trigger. But you also have the possibility to choose PGM fade. That means if you bring camera 1 in the preview of your ME1 and you push the T-bar just a little this camera 1 which is now red is the trigger. And the third possibility is the preview mode. So if camera 1 is in preview, so right now, this would be the trigger. To make it easy, I take the PGM full program for my trigger. Um, you also could use, as I said, the second ME and you can choose the transition effect like dip, mix or DVE as input as well as NT, that means that's the layer, background, key 1 and key 2. This also could be triggers. And you have the possibility to use external switches which are connected to um, one DigiTech board as an input. Back to our example, I choose the ADEM ME1, the source camera 1 as a trigger. And if I'm now saying OK, the program says, OK, there is already an existing event which has exactly this parameters. And it's called ADEM M1 Cam1 PGM full. Um, so I could have chosen exactly this command by right clicking and just choosing it of the events. Here everything comes up that I ever created and saved. OK, so this macro which is called camera 1 PGM to ME2 which is in the group always active and which is just activated by this checkbox is um, now waiting for the camera 1 coming up on the program of ME1. And after this happens, something should happen. I bring in a new line. In this case, I bring on the ADEM switcher, the ME2 to camera 1. I save this line and now we can check if it works. I'm starting the engine and if I'm now pressing CAM1 on the program of ME1, this will also happen on ME2. Let's look. Yeah, that's working great. If you want tele-signalization on ME1 and ME2, you will have to put an OR between two 
commands. So in this case, you want the camera one on ME1 and the camera one on ME2 to be the trigger for your tele signalization. In this case, you would need a detect board and you could define the output, which should um, have red light when camera one on ME1 or the camera one on ME2 are on air. To show you that it works, I easily could um, choose another action. For example, I am bringing the auxiliary one to bars if one of these both cases are true. So I save this line, start the engine, and I'm putting now camera one on auxiliary one so you can see that there will be a difference if I now switch to camera one. Auxiliary one will be again back on the bars. I'm putting it again back to camera one. And if I'm now switching camera one on ME2 to the air, this will again um, switch the color bars at auxiliary one. So let me switch off the engine and show you some different things which can be activated. For example, I could say in the second ME that the mixer effect DVE should come up if camera one is switched on ME1. But this does not make sense. It's just to show you how it works. Bring in another camera and if I now switch to cam one, this will switch to DVE. Let's look if it works. Yes, that's fine. Um, you also could use another layer effect, for example, the key one should be activated. Again, start the engine, other camera, and if I'm switching to this camera, the key one will be activated. You can see that's not a problem at all. I'm stopping this again. Um, you could also say that auxiliary one should switch to camera one, or you could say that the DSK, the downstream key one or two, fade in by auto or directly cut in by switching it to on air. To bring it off air, you just choose off ADEM, maybe DSK1 and then automatically fade out or directly switch it off. You have the possibility to choose the DDTEC boards to switch it on. You've got um, different outputs and then can they can be switched on and also switched off, for example, with this kind of events. Then you got the, your hyperdex and you can queue, queue next, play, record and stop the hyperdeck. When you choose, um, for example, on off, this will switch the DDTEC output, for example, output 4, on and off. You can choose it should 10 times be switched on and off and it should wait 100 milliseconds between, for example, switching on and off. So this is switching on, then waiting 100 milliseconds, switching off, waiting 100 milliseconds, and this is a loop of 10 times. You have the wait milliseconds event. There you can define how many milliseconds the program should wait until the next line is played. So I can save this, and if I would have a line here and a line there, this line would directly be played then there would be a wait of 1000 milliseconds and then the next event would be played. I have the wait to event I just showed you up here. I got the wait to off event. In this case, the program is waiting until exactly this is off. I can also choose some different events. And if they are off, this is the trigger for the lines which are under here. I have activate macro group as I told you at the beginning of this video, I can activate macro groups, which are right here, I can choose them by a macro. I also could deactivate this macro group and I could copy the fader. Maybe I could fade a uh, copy the mixer one fader to the second ME or into the other direction. Let me put this out. I um, want to show you I got some macros which are under the macro group para and if I'm starting the engine I can show you some things which are possible with this um, macros. So if I'm bringing this T-bar up you can see it's happening on the second ME. In this case my camera 1 to camera 6 are close-up cameras and camera 7 and 8 are wide cameras which shall not come up to the second ME. The rest of the cameras 1 to 6 should 
come up to the second ME. It also works with the preview, so I can preview camera 2. You see, this is also in preview. And if I fade over, the same will happen to ME2. But if I now choose to bring camera 7 on air, I bring this to preview, and as you see, this is switched, the preview is switched to camera 2, which was the last, what, which is the last active camera in ME1. And if I'm now bringing this over, on the first ME this will come to camera 7, but on the second ME it will stay on this close-up camera. To come back, let's say, to camera 3, I choose camera 3, and this will come to both, because it's a close-up camera. So, on the first ME I'm coming from camera 7 back to camera 3, and on the second ME from my camera 2 to camera 3. Okay. Back to the program, I'm stopping the engine and um, show you the rest of the command lines which are possible. I got the cut function where I can do the same as uh, would happen if I pressed on cut down here. This could be um, activated by this macro on the first and the second ME. Also could choose cut to auxiliary. That would mean that the ADEM ME1 would be switched to the same source that is selected in Auxiliary 1. Let me show you what this means. So, if I'm pressing camera 1 on, um, on my switcher right here, I could say I want on ME2 the same be switched that is in Auxiliary 1. So that would mean if in Auxiliary 1 there would be color bars selected Every time I would, let me real quick save this to show you. If I'm now pressing cam 1, this will come up to bars right here. Look, if it's happening, yes, that's no problem. So you um, easily can see what is meant with this cut to aux. You have the possibility to choose auto. So you can choose auto for ME1 and 2, and that means exactly the same, which is happening when you press auto on this ME. You got execute macro, there you can define macros um, to be played when this trigger happens. So I could play the macro maybe dimmer active activian, which is this macro. You can see um, this, this does not make sense because this macro has um, also a way to event. So this um, will only work if this is um, true, if um, my daily tech input DI22 is triggered, then this macro will work. So it only makes sense to um, define executed macros which don't have an input which they are waiting for. I could choose trigger player to trigger one of my players I have um, installed here. I have the possibility to cue a clip. There I can choose any clip which is um, read out by your player. I show you in another video. And at last I have the line cue next clip. I have just to define which player should cue the next clip and then that this would cue the next clip after the clip which is active right now.